The next speaker we have uh, worked in the tissue and organ donation field. She rediscovered her gifts as a psychic medium. Besides offering mediumship readings, she also is a Reiki master, a certified sound healer, and an author. Please give a warm welcome to Jan Baddock. Hi, good evening. Before I start, I want to say, did you ever think you'd have a rabbi, a lawyer, and a psychic medium on a stage at the same <laughs> night? <laughs> Doesn't that feel like the great one-liner for something? <laughs> Plus the fact that you've all been drinking, so that's great. <laughs> Thank you. Fate, a supernatural force that predetermines events in our life. In 1998, I was diagnosed in the space of two weeks with going deaf in my right ear and blind in two eyes. This brought me to my knees and I realized I needed to reassess my life. With this reassessment, my hearing came back, but my vision did not, and I ended up needing two corneal transplants. With the beginning of these transplants, I ended up first volunteering and then working for the eye bank. During that event, my daughter and I ended up doing a national awareness campaign on the need for organ and tissue donation. And we did this with a ladybug cart that I still drive today and you may have seen me in Calgary. We drove it from Vancouver to Newfoundland, talking to people about the events in my life and about donation. Over and over again, people were telling me, please write a book, you should write a book. So I quit the eye bank and I wrote a book. During one of my signings, at a chapters, a woman came up to me and suggested that I should go to Wellspring with my book. Wellspring is a cancer support center and all the services are free for cancer patients and their caregivers. When I got a tour of the place, I discovered, surprise, they do Reiki treatments. Guess what? Fate. I was a Reiki master. I've been working there now for over t 10 years working on cancer patients. But there's another twist. When I was a child, I was able to talk to spirits. It scared my mom, and I shut it down. With my donations of my transplants, my gifts started to reemerge, and I realized that I needed to use them. Here I was, a psychic medium, meeting people with terminal cancer, some who were fighting, some who were going to make it, but all of them coming into the most difficult times in their lives. Fate put me in that spot. Through Wellspring, I met Lee. This is a picture of Lee. She had cancer. Her and I became really good friends. And one day, she would come and see me for readings and Reiki. And in my ear one day, through spirit, I heard, give your mother a box of stationery for her to write notes on. Her mom lived in England. So Lee said, OK, Jan, I'll do that. And she sent it to her mom. Six months later, her mother passed away. When Lee went there, to see and say goodbye to her mom, she accidentally knocked over a box of letters and in it were letters to all of her sisters. And Lee had already lost one other sister to cancer. During that reading, when I heard Ladybug, this was after her mother had passed away, she started crying because that is what her mother had called her and she realized this was saying to her, I'm going to be okay, I'm there for you. Over the years, Lee and I became very good friends, and so did her sister, Carrie. But on January 16th of, of 2016, Lee passed away. I was saddened by this, but I was very, very close to her sister, Carrie, and we became great friends, and we continued to have our friendship together, because now she had lost two sisters. My husband and I decided to go to London to visit Carrie, because that's where she lived. And this is the Royal Albert Hall. While we were there, we went into this um, place that had this pharmacy. And it was known as the Royal Pharmacy. And what they had done is turned it into a restaurant. And in this pharmacy were all these drawers. And you could leave a message or take a message. And I felt compelled to go to this one particular drawer. And when I did, I left a message, but I pulled out a message. And what caught me, it wasn't so much the message on the paper, but the fact that it said February 22nd. February 22nd is my birthday. Hello, how can you do that? 
That's a synchronistic moment. Those are the special moments that are created in our life to get our attention. Out of all those drawers, that particular one was the one that I chose. Carrie came to Canmore a year later, and we went to a bookstore in Canmore that had a tea shop. And we were sitting there having tea, when all of a sudden, again, I felt compelled to go and grab this book that was on the shelf. I turned it over, and then, to my surprise, voila, the author was wearing a ladybug dress. Can you believe it? She felt like her sister was with us saying hi. And even the gal who served us had a little tiny pin. Yup, a ladybug. Seriously, a ladybug. She was so happy and we both had tears. Fate. I believe fate is more than just, this is what we're given. See, here's the difference. I believe fate is a canvas and it's a life canvas that we choose and the synchronistic moments are those moments to keep us on that path because guess what? It brings us higher and we learn things. One night I heard ladybugs screaming in my head and I texted my girlfriend Carrie right away in England, seven hours time difference, asked her if everything was okay. She said, it's okay, Jan, I'm fine, everything's fine. A week later, she discovered in that moment when I heard Lee yelling in my ear, ladybug, her other sister had gotten a blood clot in her lung and gone to the hospital. A week later, her sister passed away. My friend Carrie lost three sisters and her mother to cancer. I believe that fate brought us together. Fate brought us for me to embrace my gifts and not be afraid to share them and become public with you. Fate showed me that in our synchronistic moments, they help us to create something so that we can become greater as human beings on this life. On March 5th, a week ago, my own sister passed away. I was not expecting this, and I had written this speech weeks before she even went into the hospital. Fate is pushing me to tell you that I walk the talk. We are not just here, and this is it. We are here, and we are so much more. You create the fate. You create that life canvas. You have the chance. When the heart weeps for what it has lost, the spirit laughs for what it has found. Thank you.